Good evening, and welcome to e-commerce news by Managed by Stats, bringing you Amazon and e-commerce news that you need to hear when you need to hear it. With your host, Justin Coleman, and your co-host, Jade Coleman. Welcome to this edition of Managed by Stats e-commerce news. I'm your host, Danan Coleman. And I am Jade Coleman. In our first story, you can shop anywhere. A story we have covered several times in previous episodes, a number of companies are adding interactive shopping and support through various platforms. The most recent addition, since their holiday live stream was successful beyond expectations, Walmart recently held its second TikTok live stream sale. Other social media platforms and entertainment sites are also jumping on board the consumer train. Choo choo! Instagram launched shopping in Reels in December, allowing users to purchase products tagged within the Reels. Google released Shop Loop, where consumers can shop products being demonstrated by brands and influencers through 90-second videos. And now Mashable has partnered with eBay to add shopping tag icons and articles and images for readers to buy the items. 2021 Spring Canton Fair is online and it's free! The Canton Fair is usually held in Guangzhou, China, between four event halls covering 12,174,000 square feet. Due to COVID travel restrictions, the event will be held April 15th through 24th, and it's going to be 100% online. The Canton Fair set up messaging with suppliers as well as needed translations. There will be 16 main categories with a wide range of products and manufacturers, and they've even got virtual reality set up so you can get up close and personal with exhibits, some products, as well as a manufacturer's home office. Shut up. Just shut up. You had me at hello. We've included the website below. Walmart tackles automated fulfillment, putting Amazon in their crosshairs. Fabric Robotics is showing retailers that a micro-fulfillment center can be established almost anywhere. As an example, Israel's largest supermarket has a working fulfillment center set up in a 15,000 square foot space manned by just six employees and dozens of robots. Walmart is looking to use this half man, half machine micro fulfillment center to better compete with Amazon's massive fulfillment network. This is a format others are sure to follow and very soon. Grocery stores and big box stores are rethinking their delivery options to keep up with consumer demands and online competition. COVID has accelerated the growth of online retail and innovative ways in which they connect with customers. This could give Walmart the needed edge to stay competitive with Amazon. Please remain calm. Definitely something to keep an eye on. Yes, that one. Amazon is set to close inactive accounts. Emails are being sent out alerting sellers that, or non-sellers, that inactive accounts will be closed. What is an inactive account? If you don't log into your Seller Central account in the next nine months, it's going to be deleted. So if you aren't going to use that old account, now is the time to sell it, or at least log in if you don't want it deleted. Man, that sucks! Amazon is piloting a program to liquidate inventory. As you well know, sellers have two costly ways to handle customer returns in stranded or excess inventory. Number one, send it back to you, or number two, Amazon disposes of it and possibly sells it on your listing. A new program is being piloted that gives more options. One of the new programs is called FBA Grade and Resale as Used. This program is for customer opened returns and Amazon will have employees grade the returned items as one of the following. Dispose, acceptable, good, very good, or like new. The other new program is called FBA Liquidations and is for excess stock. Amazon works as the go-between to broker a deal selling the stock you want to liquidate to a third party. You can recoup some cash for those cell phone cases you, or we, bombed out on. We're gonna need those phones. Amazon Prime Day is on for 2021. In the UK, the deadline for submitting Prime Day lightning deals is April 23rd and May 28th for Prime member voucher. A voucher is like a coupon in the US. Like chips or crisps. So it's time to get stocked up and submit for those deals. In fakish news, the investigatory branch of MBS Ecommerce News, headed by yours truly, has been long at work looking into the disaster at the Suez Canal. For those of you who haven't been following this story, the 1,300-foot vessel called Ever Given collided with both banks of the canal, effectively eliminating its use for almost a week. Most in the shipping industry were relieved to find out that the canal has since been reopened. 
Up to this point, authorities have not looked into the incident with any criminal concerns or intent to intentionally sabotage the canal until now. An anonymous source has discovered a deed of sale for the canal to Alexa. With the decrease in traffic closing the canal, the Suez Canal Authority, hampered by large debts from expanding operations through COVID, were unable to keep up with the daily loan payments after signing a new lien with the Shell Corporation of Amazon LLC. To settle the payments owed, the Suez Canal Authority was forced to sell a controlling interest in the canal to Amazon LLC. When the soon-to-be CEO of Amazon, Andy Jassy, was asked about the purchase, he was genuinely surprised to find out Alexa's name on the check. What? What the hell is going on? I told you something weird was happening. Hey, 